it's okay to not be sure of who you are, basically, is what I'm saying. I messed up my notes. You are okay to not be sure of who you are. It's it's okay. We're here to help you get past that. What do you like? Let's go to the next part. I told you this was going to be long because this is well overdue. <clears throat> These are parts or factors uh, that influence or shape a woman's identity. This is more than four, but these are factors that influence or shape a woman's identity. All of these things, culture, background. Thank you so much for supporting me, y'all. Background, your values, your experiences, your beliefs. Media influences who we are. Biology influences who we are. Family that's why women who get all bent out of shape because they didn't come from the right, this side of the tracks or they didn't come in with good. Why are you overly focusing over that when all of these other factors make up who you are? Education. Oh, I don't have a whole lot of education. So I'm not, a, no, but you also can't lean so much on education as your development, no. It should be a balance. Yeah, but it's a part of who you are. Absolutely. Socialization. Right. I think society, I think when they say socialization, they mean patriarchy and they mean women having to fit in a mold. That's what they're trying to say. But I think socialization is trying to make women like other women, shun family, stop having babies. That's what I think modern day socialization is. I don't think it, 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 it it's about patriarchy. I think it's the opposite. Nobody is pushing women to be patriarchal. Nobody's pushing women to be married. Where are they getting this from? That's a lie. That's a lie from the left. Nobody's telling women to be married. Nobody's telling women. I mean, in these conservative enclaves that I go into, I hear that, but that's amongst conservatives nobody's forcing women to do anything what i see women get to run rampant and do what they want so if any woman is telling you oh you have to rebel because society wants you to be this way who where who where who's telling you to do what and when and how women get to do whatever they want to the point where now men when they go to have fun with you, they're videotaping you because not because they're just extra freaky, but they're videotaping you because they don't want to come back and have women lying on them talking about they were violated. They have to get it on tape to protect themselves. And if you have sons, tell him to protect himself. Wearing a condom isn't enough anymore. These women, if he, they notice that he has something going on for himself, he's climbing the ladder, they will get him. Ladies, you got to arm your sons and arm your daughters too. Beliefs, your beliefs, right? What do you believe as a woman? Are you religious or no? And if so, what is your religion? Does that shape your beliefs, your principles, right? Your background. What's your background? Your experiences. What did you go through? What have you experienced? What have you lived through that has shaped who you are, that changed your life, that made you, that changed your view of life, your culture? Culture affects you. Believe it or not, TikTok is affecting culture. Instagram is affecting culture. Don't believe me? Why do you have all these women wanting rich men? Why? Because of what they see on Instagram. They see these women who are random. You don't know if that's really her husband or not. You don't know if they really own that home or not. You don't even know if they really own that vehicle. You don't really know if that's his business or not, but you see them flexing and you want that instead of being happy on your farm, being happy in your home, being happy on your little apartment. You want what somebody else has and you don't even know what she had to do to get it or is doing to get it. Your value system. What is your value system? As a woman, you should have a value system. What do you believe in? What do you value? As a woman, you should know what you value. What shapes you? What stops you? What convicts you? right? Your family. We talked about that. Your biology, your makeup, that shapes who you are as 
a woman. Thank you.